behind Lindmark Lowe, but some real confusion there between Carlson and Janssen. No communication whatsoever. No one took the puck. Carlson ended up over skating it, and Rutu, he just said, look what I've got here, a puck, and no one to come at me. So Christian Rutu with the unassisted goal at 10-17. It's a three to one hockey game now in favor of Team Sweden. Again, the situation so far as the tournament is concerned, Sweden has to win to make it into the medal round. The Finns, no matter what the score of this game, are playing their last game of this tournament. Gronlund throws it up into the center ice area. Telvin sets it up. Rupe brings it into the zone, and Hanu Verta goes behind his own net. Rupe up to do some forechecking. Rupe shovels it into the open side, goes after it, has two players battling to keep him away from the puck, and now Curry starts back. Missed a body check, was checked, and now the Finns get control again. Here is Skriko. Skriko's shot off a defender. Here's a puck chopped towards the open side. Skriko controls again. Something's happened. They've decided to play hockey in the last 10 minutes of the hockey game. Rupe shovels it out over his own line. And Bloomquist retreats to his own zone. Now it'll be Yari Curry for Finland. Newman in to Bloomquist. Long pass up through the center ice area, broken up and chopped back into the finish zone. Bloomquist tries again. Tikkanen let it go down the, the boards. It's chopped around now. And here comes Runquist. And he cleared it promptly into the Finnish bench to stop sustained play. 8.20 to go in period three. This is the Labatt Canada Cup. Finland won, 8.20 to play in the third period from center 200 in Sydney, Nova Scotia. We hope you're enjoying this Canada Cup preliminary round hockey game. Sweden trying to advance to the medal round with a victory. Finland trying to finish out this tournament on a positive note, and there have been precious few positive notes in this tournament for the Finns, who brought a lot of talent here, but who haven't been able to make the most of it. Now the Finns chop it out to center ice. Suminen works his way in across the line. They have to regroup at center on a delayed offside. Newmanen. Back to Bloomquist. Quarters are close behind the net. It's chopped around on the boards and out into the center ice area. And Lars Carlson throws it across ice to Janssen. Nielsen. Boy, he's really skated pretty well for a guy who supposedly had a bad leg. Janssen chopped it in behind the net. But he's handled the puck like a plumber. That's not his trademark. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't look great on that breakaway that he had. I knew if I set you up enough, you'd disagree with me once. <laughs> well, the magic man and the magic hands weren't really there. Kent Nielsen had two good at scoring opportunities in all alone back a few shifts ago. Didn't connect on either of them. Seppo now breaks in on the right side. Lindmark came out, took the loose puck away, and cleared it to a teammate, Michael Talvin, and he just gets rid of it down the ice. Here's Sodergren after it in the corner. He's working against Viren and clear, or Siren rather, and cleared it around on the right side. And Talvin now takes over in the neutral zone. He shoots it right back in. That's a delayed offside. But they will let the Finns try and bring it out. Seppo. Cleared it down to Lindmark. Dalvin take it out of the play. Samuelson goes after it, gave it away. Now here's Seppo behind the net. Yuri Seppo tried to center it. Seppo keeps control, sets it up now for Viren. Here's the shot right on, and it just missed. And it's cleared around on the boards, and we'll have a penalty called for roughing against Team Sweden.
Well, this could give Finland an excellent opportunity to get right back in this hockey game. Michael Delvin, the culprit, watch in front of Lindmark. Just to his right, you will see Telvin moving across, and then he comes across with that cross check, and then he ends up holding the Finnish player as well. So how much question that Telvin was going to end up in the penalty box over that one. How dumb can you be cross-checking a guy who's standing in front of you high on the shoulders? All you got to do is dig him in the kidneys and uh, you don't knock him down. And you don't get a penalty and use well, your head. Oh, especially in a 3-1 hockey game with six minutes to go and Sweden desperately needing the win here. Not a very disciplined penalty that Telvin took at all. If he just started it in the first five minutes of the first period, we might have had some fun here this afternoon. Naslin shovels it towards the line. Naslin. Working hard along the board, Ben Gustafson comes over to help out and they combine to shovel it out into the neutral zone. Talvin for roughing at 13.20. And so the Finns now with perhaps a last gasp opportunity to make the final six minutes interesting. Here's Newman and keeping it in the zone. Diari Curry. Around on the boards for Rutu. Hagman running along the boards. It's back into the slot. Here's a chance. And a good sliding defensive play there by Ben Gustafson. He gets it out into the center ice area, and Naslin works away. And then promptly chops it back down to his own line as he took a hit from Rutu. Well, as you'll recall, Team Sweden has had some of their better scoring opportunities when they've been killing a penalty in today's game. Maybe the referee's to blame. We should have had more penalties. Delay a game. Curry. <laughs> Curry over on this near side to Oyanen. You till it out of Curry. Tikkanen, who has been almost invisible in this hockey game, clears it in across the line. Curry can't get free, and it comes back out to Utila at center. Finn slow to get out of the zone. Runquist able to just clear it back to his own line to Carlson. And now Thomas Janssen clears it out and down the ice. 25 seconds left in the penalty to Michael Talvin of Sweden. 3-1 is the score in the hockey game for Sweden. 4.35 to go in the third period. Oyanen across the line. And Albalin broke that up and shoots it right back out again. Tikkanen. Doubles it up along the boards to Kilonen. Lindmark just kind of dodged it towards the corner. Now here's a chance, and that shot was wide, and Naslin's got the puck and shoots it out of the zone. Sodergren. Gustafsson. Now it's chopped in to Lindmark. And it comes up to Sodergren. Hawkins Sodergren shoots it down into the behind the net. Curry. Long pass up for Skriko. Streaks in on the side. Lindmark got there first. Curry will try his luck. Took the shot towards the net. Blocked by the defense and chopped back out to center. And the teams are back at full strength. And we've got three and a half minutes to go in the hockey game. Siren. Run over there by Gustafsson. Or Bergqvist, rather. Now Rutu tries to dig it free along the boards and does, and it's chopped back down into the finish zone once again. Curry could not get to the long pass, shot down the ice, Lindmark clears it right back out again. Now it is Carlson, Lars Carlson, checked in the neutral ice area, here's Yari Curry. Up this time for Helenen. Helmanen is checked. And it's shot back out and down the ice. Well, if the Swedes get out of this game with a win, one thing Tommy Sandlin will be appreciative of is that they haven't even used up a half a tank of gas, and yet they're going to end up with a win most likely here, so they'll be fresh going into the semifinals anyway. Two minutes and 44 seconds to go in the third period. Sweden three, and Team Finland one. The Finns have had some difficulties pulling their team together in Canada Cup. They've complained a lot. They've complained about their travel schedule, about a lot of the little things, and I think that has meant a great deal 
in the Finns win-loss column as well. They have not played as a team. They have not shown any competition. And they said that they haven't had any fun really over here. Well, we all know winning is fun, and they haven't been doing any of that. However, I think that they are a little bit of a spread-apart team out there. They don't play as a unit. Utila cleared it back into his own zone, takes the return pass up on the boards now to Miko Makala. Munyan and or Suman and rather couldn't control it. Now Gronstan clears it towards the corner. Samuelson's after it. Makala moves up, takes a hit. Five players along the boards, and finally it comes out it to the line. And Michael Talbot. Weak pass looking for Nielsen, who was breaking through the middle. Nielsen nearly got a loose puck once again. Now it's Makala. Albalin tries to make the check. Michael Telvin comes across, gets the loose puck, and starts back out of his own zone. A minute and 45 seconds to play in the third period. Utila. Just throw it back into his own zone. Kamenin is checked. Gustafson throws it in front. And a good scoring opportunity there for Rupe. And the puck kind of bounced on him as he went to shoot it. Now Team Finland manages to get across the line. Skriko is checked, has to go back into his own zone. There's another giveaway, this time to Naslin, and he just gets rid of it into the corner. A minute and 15 seconds to play in the third period. Naslin bodied along the boards. The Finns take control. Utila just shoots it out and down the ice off a Finnish defender, so no icing. It comes to the line and they try and keep it in, and Berta did that right in front of Ron Finn, and there was no chance he'd get away with it. Well, all the Swedes have to worry about right now is making sure defensively, how he had talked about their abilities behind the blue line, they've got to make sure coverage-wise, they've got their man. And Lindmark right now is halfway out to the blue line, probably looking for a drink of water. Finland have called a timeout. They are going to attempt, obviously, to get Taco out of the net with a minute to go. They know if they are going to at least try to gain a tie, they're going to have to score a goal early in order to have another chance at another one. So here are the Labatt Canada Cup standings once again, and we have uh, arbitrarily awarded Sweden two points for this victory with a minute to go in the hockey game. And the Swedes now uh, uh, cannot finish second. The Soviets, I think, uh, will, will finish in second spot. But those two teams will play uh, in all likelihood in the next round. Although we'll have to wait and see what the U.S. and the Czechs do, of course, in a later game here from Sydney. Well, gentlemen, I think both these clubs this afternoon, and maybe during the whole tournament, we're looking for some leadership. Uh, Naslin has to do something, Nielsen has to do something, and Telvin, I think, have to really work up a sweat in order for the Swedes to get going. And on the other hand, Curry uh, hasn't worked up a sweat, Strico has done absolutely nothing, and Makala too. And when the other guys, the bit players, see these fellas uh, not giving out 100%, not doing anything constructive on offense or defense, uh, they're liable to slow down a little bit too. I'll say this for the Swedes, Howie. I think they've been one of the more impressive teams in the tournament for, uh, that has come over from Europe. I, and now, that's not saying much, uh, given the way the Czechs have played and the Finns have played. But uh, Taco is out of the net, by the way, for Team Finland. So they have six attackers on the ice now with 30 seconds to go. But I do think the Swedes have played pretty well in a couple of games that they have lost. And now they haven't played quite as well, and it appears they're going to come away with a victory. So we'll see if they are made of better stuff when they get to the medal round, as it appears they are going to now. As the second stick on the clock, there's Lindmark once again. He's been first class, taking that shot away from Yari Curry. And now the Swedes just shovel it out into the center ice area. And the second stick down, Essa Tikkanen. Nearly gave it away to Naslin. Here's Curry setting it up in the slot. And Rutu with the last shot of the hockey game, and it doesn't get through. And Sweden moves on to the medal round of the 1987 Canada Cup by virtue of a 3-1 victory over Team Finland. Well, Peter Lindmark played a pretty good game for Sweden. All things aside, that last save that he made point blank on Yari Curry showed Lindmark's speed. 
his abilities to stand up, and his abilities to anticipate as well. He's got great maneuverability on skates, and he's very, very smart. And although we didn't get a chance this afternoon to see him use his stick, I think he's as good a uh, goaltender as I've seen in a long time with the stick. Certainly, I would think in this afternoon's game, uh, Lindmark was head and shoulders better than Tackle, and I am a great Tackle supporter. I think somewhere along the line is going to be a great goaltender. Got all the tools to be a, a super one in the National Hockey League. Doesn't it surprise you, Howie, that Lindmark hasn't been given a chance in the NHL? It certainly does, because uh, some of these uh, National League clubs are taking 18, 19, 20-year-old kids, trying to make them goaltenders uh, five years before they're ready. There's a guy who could come along and apparently do just one heck of a job for you. And he doesn't beat himself. That's the key to playing goal. Do not beat yourself. Make the guy with the puck beat you. I like him. Can I say something here? <laughs> the mic is open, sir. <laughs> he earned it with his feet. and Kerry Taco, respectively, are the players of the game. This is the Labatt, head of the cup, 87. good Finnish players on teams where they don't have to be leaders. I don't know that there is a Finnish player in the NHL today that you could really call a leader in its team. Okay. Yeah. They may be good followers, but they uh, they don't lead very well. Lots of times during the season, Curry gives you that impression, though, that he, he does enough. Three for a game total of 21. Team Finland nine for a game total of 23. 